for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm getting an energy that there is uh, someone who's coming towards you in July and this person, they have a lot of attraction for you. A lot of mojo for you or towards you. <laughs> yeah. Um, they find you very, very attractive. Yep, there's a deep attraction here. Now, if this is not someone coming towards you like this, or if it's not the person you're dealing with, it could be someone new coming towards you like this who feels this way about you. But let's get into the reading. And let's take a look and see what's going on here. So, for the present time coming up in July, we got this King of Swords, and it's with this Nine of Swords. Now, the King of Swords, it often stands for a very powerful, opinionated type. Forceful, very forceful. Now, this person will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. You could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally. Especially if this card is not representing an actual person in your life. So you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act. Like I said, this King of Swords is a very, very forceful energy. You may not be able to get this person to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and maybe expectations. Um, the King of Swords is with the Nine of Swords. So it's about needing to guard against feelings of anxiety. And if you start to feel anxious or having, um, if you're feeling anxious, well, I just said that, if you're having some anxiety, Take a good look at whether or not any of it's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety, yeah, try to, try to, try to get a hold on it. Try to manage it. If this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. Also, there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things. And just know that's where the beauty really is. So for the present time, coming up in July, there's some, um, wow, some anxiety, grief, maybe even nightmares with the Nine of Swords. Um, something could be troubling you with regards to your relationship with the Nine of Swords here. And because we got the King of Swords paired with it, it could have something to do with this um, very forceful type of person that could be in your life. Yeah, now this King of Swords, yeah, a lot of people find this type to be really difficult to deal with. Uh, this is also known as the Narcissist, the King of Swords. Um, they tend to overstep their bounds. Uh, they could mistreat you. So, this person might make you feel maybe left out in the cold sometimes, because um, it's about a really forceful energy, very opinionated. Yeah, but we'll get more clarity on these two cards when we take a look at the rest of the reading. So. For now, let's talk about the person you're dealing with, how they see you. 
So they see you as a strength card, and they also see you as a four of wands. Now with the strength card, it's about meditating, contemplating, and spending some time alone. Even if you're in a committed relationship, and you have a lot of kids. So don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. And I say this because... The outward things, they'll be going all right, but what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only you have the ability, but you have the responsibility to do so. So try to conquer any fears and control your impulses and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. So, your person sees you as a strength card. And they see you as being really strong or a strong relationship. They see you have self-love and self-respect. Yeah. They also see you as um, a very mutually supportive relationship. Strong. Now they also see you like the four of wands. Four of Wands, you could be attending a special event. One that will be much more fun than you're anticipating, so make sure you go. You'll have a good time. Business is likely to be going well, and you'll be proud of yourself. And others will be proud of you also. The five, Four of Wands, I'm sorry, Four of Wands is a very positive card to get in a reading. It shows that you may need to keep your wits about yourself though and you should treat yourself to some fun because you could be in a phase where you're still building up and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. Also this four of wands it's about it could be about moving your place of residence. Now, when it comes to relationships and love, it could, the relationship is has the potential to become a whole lot more committed. Uh, it's about marriage, long-term commitment, this four of wands. So they, they see you as um, someone that they will want to co be committed to because um, they, they see you as a good strong companion a good a good strong relationship they see you as being or the connection as being mutually supportive and this person they see you as um, like I said um, someone that they will want to take the connection to the next level Marriage, commitment, childbirth, living in together. Yeah, because they see the relationship is good with the strength card. So let's take a look at how you see them. So you see them as the two of wands and chariot. The two of wands, it's about keeping your balance in every way you can. Even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. It's indicating a partnership with another person. It could be business or personal or both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for a successful relationship. If things are out of balance, they could get better for you. Substantially better soon. So it's about keeping your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. So you see them as having maybe a choice to make because they have two options or two paths toward the future. Yeah, so you 
Yeah, you could see them as um, not being able to make up their mind because um, uh, cause they have to make a decision which path to take. Now, it's with the chariot. Chariot card is a beautiful card in the tarot. It's about a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. It's directed, it's controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So when this card appears, you're likely to be really clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Now, it's about determination and ambition and getting things done, testing and proving that you got what it takes. It's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in your mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. But you're going to have to use both, your intellect and your heart, to be successful. So it looks like... You you see a person choosing you. Yeah, they want to, they're planning, they have a goal, and they have a dream in mind towards you. They're choosing to make a future, a future with you. And I say this because the chariot, it, it comes, it comes, well, it's, it moves really fast, put it that way. And like I said, it has a plan and a goal and a dream. And because this man, he's facing the strength card, which is you, and he's looking more towards that direction with the bird in his hand, and he's not really paying attention to the other one that's on his other hand. So your person really wants to move things along really fast with you. He's planning, your person is planning a future with you. And, and, and you may not even know it. But you're the one that this person chooses. They're ready to make things happen right away. So let's take a look at why it's happening. So we have the High Priestess and we've got Justice. Now the High Priestess, it can be a spiritual card, it could have some sexual overtones. It could mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. It's a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's important that you pay attention to your dreams at this time. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really good idea. So, the High Priestess is one of the reasons why it's happening. Um, the High Priestess, you could find people literally throwing themselves at you. Uh, it's a mystical, magical time. Um, your person or you have a lot of mojo. You could have a lot of mojo for your person or they could be feeling this way about you. Um, they see you sitting really pretty. There's a lot of attraction here. Um, you could be quiet and mysterious type as a high priestess. Um, but overall, this is just a deep attraction here. They're very physically attracted to you or you to them. Now, it's with justice. Justice is about uh, karma, the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes you're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So make sure you don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And keep in mind, if you're involved in a court case, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So with justice here, it looks like there's some clarity or some truth that's being brought to light here. Um, or you or your person think that you have the right to do so. Justice has been served. So let's recap the reading and we'll need to do this so that we can get the complete picture. 
because it's it's kind of scattered it's kind of all over the place but let's pull it together and get the full picture so Aquarius like I said your person they like this connection with you they feel that it's good it's strong they want um, that's how they see you they like I said they also see you as um, someone that they could um, propose to marry may be married to uh, they could be wanting to do this that's how they see you as marriage potential okay someone they want to commit to now you see them as um, choosing you you know this person likes you a lot and they're deeply attracted to you they find you good looking handsome they got a lot of mojo for you this person wants to come towards you really fast yeah, you're the one that they want. And this person, it looks like, even though you see them choosing you, this person at times, they cause you anxiety. Yeah. They cause you anxiety. Even though they, they had a lot of attraction towards you, yeah, they make you feel like this Nine of Swords here. Sometimes they cause you grief, depression. Um, well, the Nine of Swords here. Uh, it looks like something is troubling you with this relationship. You might be trying to avoid it. Uh, I'm picking up that because we got this King of Swords, it's popping out in this reading. You can't ignore this card. This very forceful, opinionated, probably arrogant, pushy, aggressive. This is this is a narcissist card. Uh, you you could be dealing with someone like this. This person could be a narcissist, and they might mistreat you at times even though they got even though they they like you a lot and they're attracted to you and they want it looks like they want commitment but it looks like you might think that you're not sure if this is the thing that you should do because of the way this person is so it causes you nightmares And they may not be treating you like you think they should. They overstep their bounds. They're pushy. <clears throat> and because the justice card is here, this person, yeah, they must be a narcissist because a narcissist, they always think they got the right to do so. And that's why the justice card is, is showing up here. They think that's how it's supposed to be. They think they're supposed to overstep their bounds, be pushy and arrogant and... Uh, probably mistreatful sometimes but it makes you feel really bad it makes you feel bad at times even though this person chooses you and it looks like you might want commitment or you just see that they want commitment and they see you as a good relationship but it looks like at times you don't feel it's a good relationship. Uh, you could be going through something with this person. But they got a lot of attraction for you. They find you very beautiful or good looking. 